So you have that nice, beautiful, wide landscape shot, and you want to post it on Instagram, but unfortunately, you don't want it to be a single image that people will just like and swipe away. You want it to be in the form of a carousel that they have to swipe to view more. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that I create carousel for Instagram. Anyway, let's get started. Now, most of the time I do this in Adobe Photoshop and the first step is to use the crop tool. So the idea here is I'm going to post all of them as squared images on Instagram. But you know the maximum crop size you can put on Instagram is 4 by 5. So if you want to make it three images, then you have to calculate the 4 by 5 close to each other for three images. But since I'm going to use the square, it's going to be, let me type in the ratio. So I have the ratio. It's going to be 3 by 1 because I'm going to have one image here, another image at the center, and another image in between here. So that is how it's going to be for this particular image I have in here. Now you've noticed that uh, if I make it three by one, I'm not going to get everything in there. So I probably should consider the four by five. Let me do a little bit of calculation from here. So let's, let's create a new document. Let's make it, um, let's let's just create it grab the crop tool make it four by five i'll cut this out and paste it in here okay so i have one four by five here like so let me make it fill up the entire screen then another four by five like this okay so if i grab the crop tool one more time Let's change it to W, H, and resolution, the width and height and the resolution. I can crop in like this. Okay, so let's see what we have. So this is the image we are going to be using. I had to re-import my image so that I can have it at the center. So somewhere around here is fine. Now, the first step, as you already saw, is you can create two separate images like this. So you can have the first one right around here then with the crop tool you crop like so turn this off then you go ahead and save this as a single image so you can save this as image one let's save it as a jpeg file and undo once you are done you do the exact same thing for the other side so crop that side also turn off the eyeball for that and save this as image 2 so if you go ahead and open up your Instagram you go to create or if you're on your mobile phone I mean you can do the exact same thing so I'm looking for image 1 and 2 if I go ahead and upload this you can see that if we move from this one, next one is going to be the second image and you can do that right from there. Now for the second one, you can just use another tool called the slice tool. And what this allows you to do is you can just cut out certain portions that you want to use in this image. So I'm going to bring this just one back and let me cut that area away. So like this perfect cut now i can turn off that eyeball and save these two images as independent photos so go to file go to export and go to save for web now over here i'm going to consider the height i want to use you can leave it to whatever height you want but i'll leave mine at 2000 or probably 4000 so that it is going to be 2000 each and click on save now i'm going to save this on desktop as second so let's just call a second and click on save so again if i go to my desktop you can see we have the two images as second so this is the first one and this is the second one again if you go into your browser try to upload the two images like so as you can see one here and another here 
now if it is three different images we are practically going to do the exact same thing but for three images now the last one which uh, most people would not use but i consider that one to be the best approach because it allows you to make the images or the design a bit more sophisticated so that one is called the artboard tool now some people may not have this feature if they are not using the latest version of photoshop but since i am then i have that feature so with the artboard tool i can create an artboard like this and as you can see it has one particular image in here then i can click on the plus icon anywhere so at the top at the side any of them but i usually have it at the side now for the second image i'm going to duplicate this so Control j and i'll place that in the second artboard and what i'm going to do is for artboard one let me go ahead and delete these two i don't need them so i'm going to select artboard two and make it come as close as possible to the first one so i'm going to place them very close to each other so that i can overlap the two so the second image in artboard 2 is going to come closer to the first one like so let me just zoom in and make sure that everything is aligned perfectly which i believe it is yeah because the images will just snap to each other like so so once you have this just go into file i think you have to select both of these so select at board one and two go to file go to export and click on add boards to files then over here let me leave the name as at board so that you know this is a different one select your quality size select the file type in this case i'm leaving it as jpeg and i'll click on run so photoshop is going to run this and save these two images as two images or these two art boards as two images all right so they are done exporting and if i go back to my desktop just for the second one i'm looking for art board so this is art board one and two so if i open up again if i open up my browser try to create a new post so if i select from my desktop again art board art one and two open them up you can see this is what we have now why would you want to use the add board feature as opposed to the second one which allows you to just slice and cut everything out there well like i said if you want to make a more sophisticated design using add boards uh, is one of the ways to do that i feel it makes the work a lot more professional as opposed to having everything on one workspace with artboards you can create different designs on different web pages and basically it's like having different photoshop files on one solid photoshop document so if you take a look at my photography page right here these are some of the examples i created and i use artboards for this so i have different designs you can see different um, text in there I had to retouch all of these images independently so an ad board can be used for something like that another example is when i created this promotional flyer where if you just swipe over here you see that it moves from one design to the next to the next to the next so basically that is it using ad boards uh, i think is uh, the best way so let me know guys which of these would you like to use let me know in the comment section below as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo from Final Concept and I'll talk to you guys in the next one